Friday the 13th. Remember, I've never eaten here. These are vegan. How many y'all do that? But you gotta put the money on the inside. All right, y'all about to learn the secret. Y'all about to learn the secret. She ain't wanna ride shotgun today. We start off today's vlog with it being Friday the 13th. Happy Friday the 13th. Don't step on no cracks. Don't take no salt and shake it behind you. <laughs> Hope everybody having a good day. I'm gonna get today's vlog started with some food. I'm feeling kind of hungry. I'm gonna visit a local vegan restaurant. I'm gonna see what they have on the menu. Whether it's lunch, breakfast, brunch, it don't matter to me. I just wanna eat something vegan. Do you have any superstitions? Do you believe in anything? Let me know. I don't believe in nothing, yo. Where the black cats at? Where the ladder at? I'm trying to walk under a ladder, yo. What's up, where a mirror at? I'm trying to break a mirror. Ow, 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 ow! I'm about to selfie this drum, I'm about to selfie this drum, I'm about to photobomb this drum. Photobomb! Ew! That drum hot. Hey, yo, look at this lot behind me. You know what I do with something like this? I make like a go-kart track, yo. We had go-kart track in the hood, yo. Go-kart track in Philly, yo. Come to my job. All right, so we're closely approaching the restaurant. Remember, I've never eaten here. I don't know what to expect. I'm not gonna have the selfie stick out. I took the selfie stick off just so I don't look that suspicious. I'm gonna try to hold the phone in my hand like if I'm texting. I guess this is a good time when the spy glasses are coming handy because I don't gotta worry about operating a phone and looking suspect. But let's see how it goes. I think that's the spot right there. Yep, that's the spot. It says restaurant on it, don't it? What vegan options do you guys have available? Vegan. Um, are you looking for just like a grab and go thing or like on the menu? Like, uh, we have a cool menu here that has a lot of vegan options on it. Are they specified as vegan? Um, so the way our menu is laid out, uh, everything that has a symbol next to it, or the symbols indicate what's in it. So if there's no symbols, it's vegan. Okay, so. So like we have, like these are vegan. Okay, this, so, like so, both of these have vegan options. Okay, not a problem. Um, yeah, so we have a lot of, we have a vegan breakfast sandwich okay. here. Okay, great. Um, so if you want to take a look at that. Right, thank you. And you yeah. can do any of that to go. All right. All right, thank you. You said this is a sandwich, right? Yeah, the, it's a, like a, we have tofu scramble, tofu. vegan scrapple. And it's like garlic. A, a vegan aioli. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. You want that one? Yeah. It comes with a choice of a side of either breakfast potatoes, shoestring fries, or a side salad. All right, guys. So I successfully have the sandwich. Yo, I just got a breakfast sandwich, yo. I don't know what to expect. Let me tell you how I haven't had a breakfast sandwich in probably about two years. Yeah, like going on it, yo. Check out the little cute bag they gave me. Wow, it came in in its own little box and everything. Yo, this is on like a lunch box. They got a vegan school lunch truck somewhere around here where they pack up little boxes. All right, so you guys are about to learn a cool fact, right? Now I gotta find a place to eat. Some place discreet in the tuck where nobody watching me. Cause listen, yo. Who don't like to eat in front of people, yo? I really don't enjoy eating in front of people. Really weird for me to eat in front of people. Like, I don't do the whole food court thing. I don't like, you know, if the food court's packed and it's like the lunch hour, I do not go to the food court. I've been to food courts, but usually during the dead hours, or like the afternoon hours when it's really empty, and then I'll go to the corner and I'll try to, you know what I mean? I'll try to eat in the tuck, but I do not like eating in front of people. All right, I think I found a spot quiet and secluded. I wanted to eat out in public. I wanted to like, you know, feel the air today. It's nice weather out here. Find a little bench, park bench. I'm about to show y'all what this is hitting for. Ew, y'all can see my silhouette. Ew, y'all even see I had the headphones on, right? It's crazy, right? Let me take these off. Uh, there you go, y'all finally get to see me, right? Face reveal. All right, guys, let's see what this school lunch is hitting for. Doesn't it look like a school lunch? I'm telling you, this looks like a school lunch. Like when they give you like the little piece of a hoagie or something. And you get like some chips, like a little chip box. 
Yo, I didn't even expect the sandwich to come with some fries. He says that it came with some fries. I hope they give me ketchup. Oh, no, ketchup ain't, ain't, ain't vegan. I need like, some vegan ketchup. All right, guys. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect. Oh, snap. These y'all look official. Ooh, what is that? Oh, man, that's that's like the fake egg. Like, I haven't even seen anything close to eggs in a long time. Eggs make me sick. I smell them. They make me throw up. I smell the butter. That It just upsets my stomach. It smells horrible. Wow, look at this little french fry. I'm going to tell you if it tastes good by itself. You ready? You ready? Taste test. Taste test. And... I can't taste it. It ain't been no salt. Damn, I should have put some salt before I left. They're not bad. They don't taste bad, yo. Oh yeah, that's my third fry, y'all. And y'all can see me eat. Hold on, y'all wanna watch me eat? Hold on, chill, 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 chill. This junk is banging, yo. This junk is pretty good. I mean, that's potato, so I guess potato, potato, it all works the same, right? Let me get a good shot of this before I start biting into it. Yo, this junk looks like a burger. Let me bend this box. It really looks like a school lunch, yo. Check it out. Let's open it up and see what's inside. What's inside the breakfast sandwich? Oh wow. Oh man, that's like a fake. That better not be meat. Oh yeah, that's that's fake. So so what this is, it looks like it's like a scrapple, like a homemade scrapple. I never liked the real scrapple, like meat scrapple. Ugh. I never liked it that like when I used to eat meat, I never liked the scrapple period. That thing smelled horrible. But this is vegan, so most likely that's just a bunch of vegetables compressed into, you know, a little scrapple patty, like a fake patty, you feel me? And this is tofu eggs, which is made out of tofu. And then it has some other, I don't know, cream up there. I'm not sure what that cream is. Wow, let's see what this one tastes like, right? Damn, look at this one. This is husky. I'll give it that. This, this, look at this. It looks like a burger. Oh, man, this would have been a good idea to bring a tripod so I could taste it. Let me take a bite out of it. Yo, I haven't had anything close to egg, and like I said about several times, in almost two years. So, wow, this is going to be crazy. You ready? Mmm. One of y'all wanted that. Somebody wanted that. Somebody out there wanted that. Hey, yo. Somebody out there wanted that. Yo. This John. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, hold on. Let me take it in. Whoa. It's weird. It's almost like a fake cheesesteak almost. Like, why give me that, 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 I don't know, I kind of feel like I eat a cheesesteak. Look at this little fake egg. Watch me pick up this little fake egg right here. Why well, this thing just breaks. It breaks up. You see it? Ain't no animals are harmed in this meal, y'all. Let's try this sauce right here. That sandwich isn't bad. I'm gonna come back to it, yo. I really didn't get a chance to take it in and it's sad because I'm holding the phone. So, you know, to get the full experience, you kind of need both hands so stuff don't fall out like it just did. But let's try the sauce. Oh, snap. It's vegan ketchup. Yo. Say word. Oh, them, yo, them fries are popping. With the ketchup, with the little vegan ketchup. By themselves, they like they were good. They needed a little salt, but with the ketchup, these you know, right here is chilling. I really feel like a teenager sitting at the park eating like a school lunch. There's only one person here, and he ain't looking at me. He better not be looking at me. He's not getting none of my food. Enough. But yeah, look at that the helicopter out. The birds is out, and I'm about to try another bite of this sandwich. All right, guys, I had to take a bite with two hands. I needed to. I stuffed it back up. As you can see, I used the lid and I scraped it up and then I stuffed it all back in here. I think I even got a french fry in there. It doesn't taste bad. If you want to ask what it tastes like, does it taste like the eggs and the meat that I remember before? It does kind of taste like an egg. And for me, that's weird because I haven't had that texture in a long time. And if you know me, I don't like gooey food or like soft, mushy food. So this is an exception, you know? I make only a few exceptions to soft food and this is one of them. Um, can I eat it every day? No. I don't know, I couldn't eat eggs every day either, so like, you know. I don't think I'm missing much with eggs, you know. I think this this reminded me, you know, why I'm vegan, but it doesn't taste bad. Is it eatable? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The texturity is like, the bread tastes like normal bread, right? 
this vegan bread. The egg substance is interesting. It's an interesting substance. The fake meat thing, I don't know. It tastes like fake meat, I guess. Well, not fake meat, but I guess it tastes like meat. Like, I don't really miss meat much. And when I eat things like this that try to be like an imitation of it, like an imitation cheesesteak or imitation this or imitation that, it reminds me of like why I don't eat that real version of it anymore. Because it never really turned me on that much. Like, I was downsizing on meat anyway. Like, I needed my meat well done, extra crispy, burnt because of the chewiness. This is the fleshiness of it turned me off. So to eat stuff that's still similar to the fleshiness of it, like, that's why you don't see me eat vegan cheese every day or like there's certain things that are meat substitutes or animal substitutes because it's trying to relate like it but you don't even see me eat that every day because i don't really miss the original thing so it's not like i'm going to try to find a filler and substitute for it i really like vegetables vegetables is number one i really love vegetables anything plant-based but i figured let me give this a shot so y'all can see what it looked like so i can see what it tastes like because like i said i never tried it um and it's not bad look matter of fact i'm gonna dip this y'all look at dipsies dipsies Check it out. Oh, snap. How many of y'all do that? Uh, y'all needed both hands to finish this. There was no way I was gonna be able to finish it with just one hand. But you can see I ate it all. The hoopty looking a hot mess. So I'm here in the self-serve car wash and I'm about to wash this joint. Check it out. Scrub brush, pressure washer, chamois, Look at the little mechanism right here, it's broken, but you gotta put the money on the inside. Let me go put this bread in. Pulling up the Home Depot, or Home Depot. Hey, how you say that? Home Depot, right? No, Home Depot. The T's silent. Man, why they put the T there okay. then? All right, now you guys are gonna get an idea where I get my super secret black rubber gloves from. My magical rubber gloves. All right, y'all about to learn the secret. Y'all about to learn the secret. Ah, oh, y'all learned the secret. Chill, don't be trying to use my secret. 40 gloves, yeah, Black Johns. These work good for anything, you know, that you need a rubber glove on. Especially if you're a tattoo artist, this would come in handy. Not many people know Home Depot got these. They got the 100 box and they got the 40 box. I usually get the 40 box because that's more than enough. Got to cover the vitiligo. <laughs> it's a secret, it's a secret. They can't see the secret. Michael Jackson used to wear gloves. Well, Tune got to wear gloves. Trying to be like Mike. Hey, yo, it's one of those warm days like where you start getting sleepy. I'm driving and I'm getting sleepy. like. I don't know, it's like a warm mugginess. It's cool, we got like a nice wind breeze, but then there's still like a mugginess. I don't know if it's because the leather interior, that's why leather sucks, but it just feels muggy. Put it down. Get it. She ain't wanna ride shotgun today. So she just decided to take the back seat. I bet you think that I should calm down. And that I'm overthinking everything about you. Hey yo, Philly lit right now. It's popping out. The weather is nice. It's a nice breeze out. It's warm. I'm in a t-shirt. I'm chilling. I got my backpack with a bunch of lenses, my Sony. I got a glide cam stabilizer right here to stabilize the footage. And I'm about to go capture some footage. Get this shooting right now. Probably show y'all a little teaser. Dude, 
due to copyright reasons, I cannot play the whole song. <laughs>